A scatter plot is used when we want to visualize and analyze two continuous variables, usually between an independent and a dependent variable. The connected scatter plot is a variation of this. In a connected scatter plot, we're going to connect the dots based on a specific sequence. In our example, we're going to introduce our time component and connect the dots based on the time component. So let's start off with a simple scatter plot first. Let's put our sales on columns. It's going to be your X axis. We're going to put our profit on rows. It's going to be your Y axis. At this point, let's clean this up a little bit. Let's go to format lines and remove the grid lines. Let's also add our subcategory to detail. Let's also set the fit to entire view. At this point, let's make this into a line. When we change the mark from automatic to line, this is what happens. The way it connects the points is going to be based on their position in the scatter plot, but this is not what we want. What we want to do is to connect the points specific to a subcategory, and it also needs to be ordered based on the year. So right now, we're going to take our order date, we're going to put that to the path. The path property allows us to specify the sequence of how to connect the dots. So the way this works is for each category now, the line is connected based on when they happened. For example, we take a look at this line, copiers, that's 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. If we take a look at this, again, it's not connecting it based on the values. It doesn't go from here first, and then there, and then there, and then there, because that would have been a totally different sequence or a totally different line. In this case, it follows the year. So the first point, 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. So now we're going to introduce our dual axis chart to make this our connected scatter plot. Let's duplicate some of profit on rows. So for the second marks card, which is this one, we're going to change this into a circle. So click on this, let's make this into a circle. And this time around, we're going to add the rank inside the circle. So let's add profit onto the label and we're going to add our rank. So on the drop down, quick table calculation, we're going to add rank. Right now we're seeing all ones. It's because we haven't set the direction yet. So going back to the pill that has the rank on the drop down, compute using, and it's going to be a long subcategory. Let's make sure that these labels are in the center of the circle. So under label, again, make sure that you are targeting the circle at this point, not the line, so not that one. So label for the circle, we're going to set the alignment to center, center horizontally and center vertically. Maybe adjust the size of the circles a little bit. And once we have this, let's create a dual axis chart. We can do that by clicking on the second pill and selecting dual axis. Drop down, dual axis, and let's synchronize our axes and let's make a few more refinements. And now let's add our highlighter. So let's take a highlighter for subcategory. So on the drop down, show highlighter. So if we're looking at a very specific subcategory, for example, phones, on the highlighter, let's select phones. And we can see in here that the phones started as number one. And then number one, and again, this is the intersection of the sum and profit. So we can see the sum and profit as well as we expand our chart. On the third year, it's number four, and then moved on to number three. But again, we can see our sales and profit for phone, as well as how it was ranking over those four years.